G'day, welcome to Star Portraits. We've come to Hampstead Heath, North London's 800 acres of countryside. It's here that our guest, successful comedian, writer and actor, can be found indulging one of his other great passions for wildlife. With so many aspects to his personality, I'm sure he'll be the inspiration for three wonderful portraits. Our sitter's theatrical career began at university. He was a member of the Cambridge Footlights and together with two fellow students, went on to form the cult comedy trio, The Goodies. Their unique brand of zany sketches and quirky humour created one of the biggest TV hits of the 1970s. Right, let's have a look at him, shall hey, we? Hey. And I was very lucky to have provided them with a few laughs myself. <laughs> Two little boys <laughs> two little toys. Close the box! <laughs> he doesn't sound very well, does he? Never sounded any better. I remember them so well. These days, it's a different sort of lark he's known for. As a keen ornithologist, he's responsible for bringing the wonders of the natural world into millions of homes. I literally can't see anything but starlings. There's no edges the picture as it were in my eyes. All I can see. Wow. Oh, look at that. It is of course Bill Oddy. Hello Ralphie. G'day Bill, how are you? I'm very well actually. This is this is a variation to my usual routine because I come out here virtually every morning. What's it like having this wonderful chunk of territory I, right on your doors. It's the best garden in London, I'll tell you. It is just superb. You looking forward to this whole portrait painting business? I'm looking forward to it a lot, yes. I, I, the, way, the only thing that bothers me is, you know, I sort of think portrait, and people tend to have that, uh, they suddenly go all kind of severe and, and noble, <laughs> don't they? You know, so I have to be seen like this or something like that. We've got three artists, three completely different styles to paint your mm. portrait. What sort of a portrait are you looking for? Uh, it has to be frivolous, okay. slightly insulting. I'll, I don't mind that at all. Well, I'm off to see the artists now. Okay. They don't know yet who it is they're going to be painting. So give us a few minutes and then join us. I certainly will. Okay, I'll psych myself up. Okay. The three artists I've selected to paint Bill today each have their own distinctive style and method but I wonder how they'll choose to capture the different sides of our sitter. Rupert Bathurst is a self-taught artist from Gloucestershire. On leaving Eton College, he was awarded a scholarship to art school, but rejected this in favour of travelling the world. He received his first portrait commission 20 years ago and has been painting professionally ever since. Rupert works in mixed media, combining pencil, acrylic, watercolour and paper collage. He describes his style as edgy, piercing and uncompromising. Lorna Wadsworth grew up in Sheffield but now lives and works in London. She received her first portrait commission at the age of 15 before going on to study at the Prince's Drawing School in Shoreditch. Lorna works in oil and has painted many famous faces including Tony Blair, Dickie Bird and Sir Derek Jacobi, often producing a series of paintings of her sitters. Mark Roscoe hails from Fife in Scotland. He studied fine art and has been painting professionally for the past seven years, receiving over 50 commissions in that time. In addition, Mark has been a finalist three times for the prestigious BP Award at the National Portrait Gallery. Mark paints in oil on canvas and believes his work to be traditional and timeless. I'm meeting the artists at Kenwood House, located right here on the heath, and the setting for today's portraits. It's home to many great masterpieces, including Rembrandt's self-portrait. The artists don't yet know who they'll be painting. I wonder if they'll guess. <laughs> 